So this video is gonna be about this look. I'm actually very surprised how good I did in this look. Like I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I did amazing. <laughs> you know, cause sometimes my makeup be looking out like ugly. Like sometimes I do good, sometimes I do bad, you know, but it's all about practice, you know. I try to do like this sunset look. Like, you know, like the sun is setting, you know, kind of, kind of like, kind of like that, those vibes. These eyelashes just cover the whole look, but I mean, I like, I like these eyelashes. They make the look look a little more, a little more better, you know. So yeah, so if you want to know how I did this look and what colors I used and what eyeshadow palette I used, then just keep on watching. So let's get started. I know the setup is kind of weird. I'm going to zoom in like on my face a little bit. I know it's kind of weird, but... That's what it's just gonna have to do. So I already did one eye. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the other eye. Well, I'm telling you guys about it. So I am gonna be using the Jaclyn Hill palette volume two. I got this one on the mail maybe like two weeks ago when I ordered it maybe like a month ago or more than a month ago. So these are all the beautiful colors. So obviously first I'm going to be going in with um, the yellow which is um, the color No Joke. And I'm gonna be taking that color like all the way on top, like where my brow bone is at. Since this is gonna be like a halo eye, every time I do my eyeshadow, I always blend outwards, you know, to make a little sharp line. But since this is gonna be a halo eye, I'm just gonna like, like an upside down U. That's what I'm gonna be doing. Just blending the colors on an up like an upside down U. Yeah, until you get to the inner corner, into the outer corner. And yeah, you know. is gonna be my man and this one I'm gonna be placing it like on my crease area and the same thing an upside down U but first I'm just gonna be like packing it on upside down U and then you kind of just go blend it up like in little circular motions blending upwards don't like let me like circular motions upwards because if you go downwards you know you're gonna bring the shader down i mean you're gonna bring the eyeshadow down and you're trying to leave the center clear well the center like you know with no shades but we're still gonna end up cutting our crease so i don't know this is just how i'm doing it <laughs> brush that we use the yellow eyeshadow with and I'm just blend the top make sure I don't use that yellow eyeshadow the more and just blend okay now to darken up you know our look we're gonna be going in with tipsy girl and I'm gonna be placing that in the outer corners of my lid and in the center on top just like that and you know you're just gonna blend but tap Darken up the look even more. I'm gonna be taking the color Dance Party and I'm gonna darken up the look even more. You know, just 
Lace it right there. Okay, so now we're gonna cut our crease. Let me see if I can like cut my crease the same as the other one. <laughs> so to cut my crease, I'm gonna be using my e.l.f. concealer. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna cut my crease. I hope I don't mess up. I I never really do halo eyes because I don't know how to cut the crease like a halo, you know. But we're gonna try anyways. <laughs> taking the color dance party and mixing it in with tipsy girl like trying to make it like i'm gonna be blending it but like into a v shape so kind of like this i don't know how to explain it but it's gonna come out like this like a v you get me okay oh i forgot guys i forgot going with the before you do all that okay i forgot guys before you do all that you're gonna be going in with the color certified and you're gonna be placing it in your crease where you cut the crease i totally forgot that step guys my bad now you go in with your color dance party and you know, blend it out <laughs> going in with the even smaller brush and i'll be going in with the yellow the first yellow that we took which is the color no joke and then you're going to be placing it in front where you put the pink like right here just to make that v don't worry we are going to be blending this out so if it looks a little a little weird yeah now take a little blending brush so now for the inner corner we're going to be taking the color i'm in it and you're going to be putting it in the inner corner okay so now <clears throat> i'll put some eyelashes on i honestly don't know which pair is which for sure i know these two were the pairs so i'm guessing this one and this one are pairs and this one and this one are pairs this one and this one are pairs this one and this one are pairs i'm guessing that's how it goes so i'm just gonna be using this one's right here since i already used these in my other video i'm gonna be using these right here Okay, I mean, I like them, you know, long eyelashes, whatever, but they kind of take over the look a little bit. Like, it kind of covers the halo. Like, you can't even see I have a halo eye. Like, look. Unless I'm like this. Unless I close my eyes and I'm like. Hey. What are you up to? <clears throat> oh my god, okay, so I'm gonna just do some final touch ups and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the final look guys well i kind of like the eyelashes but i wasn't sure because it was like taking up how do you say it 
like covering the look i feel like the eyelashes were too much for this look i was really trying to show off that little halo look that i did you know so these eyelashes like legit cover everything so <laughs> i actually did very good in this look yes, queen. like i'm proud of myself it took a lot of blending a lot of blending a lot a lot a lot of blending i like how all the colors blend in it looks like a very sunset you know like a sunset look or something like that i hope you guys enjoyed this look and like always don't forget to comment like and subscribe to my channel for more and i'll see you on my next one